गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट सेशन ऑफ टेंथ क्लास इलेक्ट्रिक करंट ग्रुप चैप्टर नंबर 9 सो ओके इन द फर्स्ट क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सम ऑब्जेक्टिव्स सो इंट्रोडक्शन टू द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी व्हाट इज इलेक्ट्रिक करंट व्हाट हैपेंस इन द मोशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स व्हेन द बैटरी इज कनेक्टेड टू इट सो लाइक दिस we will be going to the sir first one let us see what is electricity electricity so before going to that we have to go through the modern physics let us see atomic structure topic is there chemistry inside an atom so we have three subatomic particles namely protons electrons and neutrons where protons and electrons are inside the atom and there are protons and neutrons are inside the nucleus and they are called nucleons so they will not come out of the nucleus around this nucleus electrons are revolving around this nucleus freely they are freely distributed that means electrons are in motion whereas compared to positive charges like uh, what to say protons are not in motion so in that case How many there are? We in that case there are two types of electricity. We say so electricity is divided into two types. Electricity is of two types. Divided into two types. One is up to the ninth class. Now study it here. Static electricity. Static electricity and current electricity. In this one, the static name indicates here stationary. Static, the name itself is having stationary. That means the steady of charges at rest. That is called static electricity. In this one, the charges are not moving from one point to another. They are at rest. In this study, the charges are at one rest. That means one place. I sell battery. Charges are at rest. So that kind of study is called static electricity. And if the charges are moving from one point to another point, so that is called current. Current means the word current stands for motion. That is flow. So that is current is that is motion. That is flowing flowing from one point to another point. Here static means rest. Here current meaning only this current meaning is nothing but they are motion motion. That means the steady of various effects of charges in motion. That is called current electricity. The steady of electric charges at rest. is called static electricity so static electricity we have dealt with primary cell so lagrange cell and many type of cells that we study at rest we have studied up to the previous classes now we are going to learn about the electric current and what are the effects when they are traveling from one place to another point that means one point to another point so in this one when this charges that means electrons that means electrons they will not move from the charge of electron is denoted by the letter q this charge of electron is moving from one place to another place so q is moving the charge of electron that means electron charge while vibrating so the charge of one electron is given charge of one electron is given as 1.625 into 10 power 18 electrons that means this many electrons what about the amount of charges offered by these many electrons that total constitutes one coulomb of charge that is one coulomb of charge here yeah? charge of one electron so if there are two electrons that means two into e that is only charge of two electron one electron three electrons are there like that if n electrons are there we will write n into e that means charge is equal to Q is equal to charge is charge is equal to the number of electrons into charge of one electron will be given you. So that means charge of one electron will be given that kind of value. Now here in this situations, what you know, how the electricity will be flowing? That will be flowing. What is it? Let us what a one which situation it flow? Let us see a small battery. A battery is a battery. So nine volt battery we have taken. 
and I am taking a series, right? Actually, we have to take a work, but we can perform in the alternative manner also. See, this small terminal is considered as positive and this is to be negative. Then I am taking this work and I am connecting positive and negative. So, positive and negative. So, here, now the lights are going. Lights are going. That means, whatever the chemical energy is stored in this battery is converted into electrical energy and passing through this term of the wires and entering into this LED bulbs, light emitting diode and LED bulbs and these are glowing. So like this. Now, if I remove this battery, they will be not glowing. The wires are there already. These wires are there through which current will be flowing. These wires are called conductors, even though they are connected. So, when I place this one, now they are glowing. When I place, they are glowing. That means flow is being happening here. Chemical energy is converted into electrical energy. That electrical energy is traveling from positive terminal to negative terminal. So, they are glowing. So, if I remove this one, they are not glowing. That means in the absence, of battery, the, there is no source. This is called a source energy which is giving you this one is called that is energy is called source. And this is taking energy and that means electrical energy, chemical energy is converted into electrical energy. That electrical energy entering into this work and converted into light energy and heat energy also. So this is called consumer. So when I connect, they are flowing. When I remove this one, they are not flowing. Instead of that one, if I take insulated wire, insulated means so wire bound with some kind of threads like this. This kind of wire if I take and connect to this one. One is connected to the positive and other is connected. So here cell is there and other one is I am connecting with the help of this one. I am connecting now the LEDs are not good. That indicates that means this whatever the first wire is there that is a conductor this wire is having some thread around the wire see some thread is there insulated wire thread is there this is nothing but it does not allow the electric current to pass through it that means they are not allowing the electric current to pass through it so the substances which allow electric current to pass through them are called conductors so this is a conductor this wire is a conductor that's why the, through the conductor the current is flowing in the first case, the current is flowing, therefore the bulb is blowing. In the second case, as there is no source, so the bulb, the bulb will not glow. And the, the, the series lights will not be glowing. In the third case, when I take the insulated wire, so insulated wire does not allow, even source is there. And suppose uh, this is the bulb, this is the bulb here, where, where bulb is there, this is the bulb. And here, this is the battery. Like this, when the battery is connected and these wires are there, then the bulb is glowing. This bulb is glowing. If I remove this battery, if I remove this battery, even though these are conductors, made up of copper, conductors, so then the when also then the bulb will not glow. Why? Because there is no source here. That's why this will not glow. When battery is also connected and this battery is also connected and this wire instead of this wire only we are having insulated wire or nylon wire or insulated wire or nylon wire is there through this one this will be giving energy but that is not ready to accept or take the energy and pass through the bulb therefore the bulb will not be flowing from this situation I can be come to a conclusion that conductors and non-conductors non-conductors and this is other name of that is opposite name that is conductor means the material which allow the materials which allow electrical energy to pass from the source to the bulb here in this case source is the battery from the battery to the bulb are called conductors so the material the I called nylon wire the material which does not allow the electrical energy to pass from the battery to the electric bulb are called non-conductors. The other name for non-conductors is insulators. Insulators. These are conductors and these are insulators. Insulators does not allow electric current to pass through them. But conductors allow electric current to pass through them. This is how we say. Now we are getting 
on energy i am saying energy is being transferred from the source to the bulb which energy that hidden part of the energy is inside the battery that chemical is energy that chemical energy is being converted when the two conductors are connected that chemical energy is converted into electrical energy that electrical energy is being flowing from one point to another point that means from positive terminal to negative terminal let us see how what happens how it is flowing in this one let us so i am taking the structure that is nothing but this is a conductor and then the area of this cross section area of cross section is saying this is having a area a a is the area of cross section of that particular conductor and we can say thickness simply this a thickness of the conductor now in this one electrons are that means negative charges are there positive charges are there negative charges are there so i will denote by these negative charges this charge is moving in this direction this charge is moving in this direction this charge is moving in this direction so this charge is moving in like this they are randomly moving they, they don't have any specific path for its motion so one will be moving like this randomly distributed what happens here the number of the number of charge carriers passing from one point from this side to left and to my left to my right that means the number of charge charges traveling from my left to right in a particular set time is equal to the number of charges traveling from right to left in the set same time from right to left that means whatever the charges are going in this one magnitude of the charge suppose m and this side is minus m so if you add this to plus m and minus m automatically the answer will be zero therefore the net the net charges that is the net charge in this conductor is zero net charges in this conductor will be zero so for that case that means they should travel in only one direction they are traveling from random direction no so they should travel only in one direction so how they will be traveling so when i take this one from left this is one this side this and side two that is two ends of the conductor then if i connect to a battery or cell or from this one they will be traveling from one place to another place that means from one point to another point in a in only one direction in only one systematic order so let the order the order will be only from point that means from the negative this is negative this line and this will be positive this negative will be giving the electrons and these electrons are traveling and like this they are traveling like this and the current should be going in this opposite direction that means positive charges so they will be coming and traveling in this direction So they they will be electrons and whatever here positive are there. So they will take the electrons. Then positive will attract the negative charges. You know this one. Positive negative will attract means like charges repel each other. Unlike charges attract each other. In the same way, this will be coming or we can write this direction and this direction and all will be coming aligned in this order. Therefore, there will be no there will be no Uh, cross that is nothing but opposite direction flow of charges. Therefore, charge will be coming from one direction and that is going to another direction. So here, as we can say, positive charges are negative charges are coming. That is coming to pass it from higher potential that is positive terminal to negative terminal. And electrons, charges are coming. Charge is flowing from to lower potential that is negative terminal to the higher potential that is positive terminal. so this is how the what is happening in the ideal conductors like copper wire or aluminum wire so like that if you take if you take that kind of us how what is happening ideal wire if there is no source nothing is there so the net charges will is that word net charge on that particular conductor is zero so that's why it is not behaving that is not giving any supply so when you connect this one there will be a continuous flow of charges that's why they are flowing from one to another during its flow as you guys we have discussed in a in a charge there are some positive charges are also there see here positive will not move 
so they will get rest means these positive charges are having some fixed arrangement they will be having some arrangement these positive charges will be having some fixed type of arrangement the this arrangement of positive charges in a conductor is called lattice l a t t i c e that is the lattice group of l a t t i c e lattice a group of a group of positive charges arranged in a conductor so they will not go they will act like a hot substance they are like a fluid that is the part the substance which stops the flow of charge so when these are going so they will be coming here they will be forming a hot substance like this and here this will be coming electricity charges will be coming with high velocity and they will hit here that means they will hit the lattice charges that means the whatever the negative charges are there they will come with high speed and they will hit this lattice they will accelerate where they will be accelerated and when they hit here what happens certain that means when they hit here they the chance of becoming this velocity will be almost zero or equal to zero but due to electric field what happens again that uh, the electron will be a charge will be accelerated with the help of electric field and that will be traveling fastly and that will hit the light other that is another that is and that will be going due to that one what is happening this conductor is getting heated up so because of that one this is getting heated so when you going fast on a vehicle and apply sudden brake what happens the tires will be rubbed on the surface of the road and then the heat is produced or when you apply the brake if you see the rim and the brakes what happens there will be heat is produced something so because of friction here also when they are going something is opposing them that is something is stopping them due to frictional force some heat is produced therefore this conductor will be heated up so when your current is passing that will be heated so some concepts have been given for what happens when you connect a battery to a conductor when you connect a battery to the moon to conductor the motion of electrons will be traveling from one point to another point systematically in a same in a particular direction they will not have the way they will not travel in opposite direction when you don't connect the any kind of battery or source then what happens they will be overlapping and what happens the net resultant resultant force that is the thing but resultant force will be zero or we say the resultant will resultant charge will be zero so this side plus side that side minus side gets cancelled get net charge will be zero therefore that is a not conductor so we cannot say it is a conductor or insulator the net charge will not be flowing from that but so this concept was later in 1905 that is the thing but in 19th century in 1905 two scientists paul another first scientist is nothing but paul Proof, D R U D, Proof, and Hendrik, Hendrik, and Tool, Lawrence. These two scientists has given the concepts of this particular behavior of conductors, how the current will be flowing, and how it is getting affected with this one with the help of a Uh, diagram it is that will be discussed in the next class so with this we will conclude this one thank you